This is an unofficial fan production and is in no way associated with the BBC or Doctor Who. You are a heavy sleeper, monsieur. What? Am I upside down? Well, one of us is, and I do not think it is me. My hands? You've tied my... You've tied my feet, too. Oui, my petit biscuit. You are very observant. Where is this? Where are we? Hmm. Perhaps not so observant. Surely, even in your current orientation, you can recognize the skyline of Perry. Yes, I got that. Could you be any more specific? We are on the roof of my private residence. You do remember my home, don't you? You were freely exploring it only half an hour ago. Oh, right. But why the roof? Because it is threatening, no? I am not a violent person, you see. I do so hate violence. But believe me when I say that this hatred can be overcome. If I am pushed. Why not just point a gun at me then? Oh, because it is so, so ruthless. So ordinary. So passé. Also because I do not own one. But I do own a very tall building. You are a big man, monsieur, but, as you so elegantly noted, your hands and feet are tied. A nasty fall could certainly be arranged. What the hell do you want from me? I want to know what you know. You are no common thief, monsieur. My home is full of art, full of riches, yet you do not seem interested in any of them. Why? Tell me what you seek. Tell me why you wish to make an enemy of Madame Allaire. But first, most crucially, tell me your name. Duggan. Bonjour, monsieur. Uh, bon jour. Uh, un glass of... Uh... Pardon? Uh... Don't worry. I've got this. Deux eau, s'il vous plaît. Oh, oui, madame. First time in Paris? No, actually. Could have fooled me. So what brings you back? Sorry, you are... Deux... Merci. Thanks. Uh, mer- merci. Water? Yes. 
I suspect we'll be needing our wits about us tonight. You can have a sherry once it's all over. Once what's over? Our investigation. You're not just here to look at the pretty pictures, are you? It's an art exhibition. A Parisian art exhibition full of rich snobs from all around the world. No offence, but you stick out like a sore English thumb. Oh, you don't. At least I got the dress code right, Mr. Trenchcoat. Look, can you just tell me who you are? Name's Eleanor Agnew. I'm a journalist. What paper? Freelance. Oh. Oh, don't look at me like that, detective. How did you know Trenchcoat. Look, you're clearly here detectiving. I'm here journalisting. What do you say we pool resources and get to the bottom of this together? (laughs) Buy me a drink first. I just did. So finish your water and get a shift on. Wait, wait, where are you... Bon chance, monsieur. Uh, yes. And you. Look at all this. Paintings, sculptures, art from all across history. Lost Van Goghs, forgotten Da Vinci's. It's incredible. Half of it hasn't been seen for centuries. Other half we didn't even know existed. Not until Madame Allaire suddenly unveils them all out of nowhere. I mean, that one's apparently a Michelangelo. How does somebody stumble across a piece by Michelangelo that nobody's ever seen before? They're fakes. Must be. But they've all been tested. The weathering, the materials, each little detail. They all point towards them being from the right time period. Then they're very good fakes. Look, I really don't think you should be getting involved in this. All right, then. Sort it out yourself. Prove they're fake and arrest Madame Allaire for fraud. That's what you're here to do, isn't it? I don't have any evidence. I know. Neither do I. That's the whole point. The point? What an interesting topic to be discussing at an art exhibition. What is the point of art, I wonder? Madame Allaire. Bonjour, madame. Please, do not trouble yourself. It will save us both a lot of embarrassment if you speak with your native tongue, I think. Yes, of course. What a wonderful exhibition you have here, madame. Where'd you find them all? All these rare paintings nobody's ever heard of. What makes you think they have never been seen before? Perhaps they have. And I am merely the first person to bring them out into the public eye. Not every art collector is as open as I. Either way, sourcing them can't have been cheap. I do not care about the cost. I have made many fortunes in my life. What better endeavor to spend them on than bringing together all these wonderful creations? Besides, I am selling many of them. I shall make my money back. Ah, the next auction is beginning. Will you be participating? No. We could never match your prices. But you will at least observe, yes? It is ever so thrilling. Well, we wouldn't miss it. And you, monsieur? Uh, yes, of course. Excellent. This is where everybody... Parisi, Parisi. Poor rich idiots. They're probably about to bid thousands on a tea towel masquerading as an ancient Egyptian tapestry or something. Good, then they'll be distracted. Wait, where are you going? You don't have to follow me. Yeah, well, it's too late now. What exactly are we doing? I'm investigating. Well, surely there'll be security everywhere. They'll all be focused on the auction. Right. But it's worth mentioning that this is where Madame Allaire lives. This place is her home. Being in her exhibition hall was all well and good, but now we're poking around her actual house. That's not strictly legal, is it? No, it's not. We'll just have to make sure we don't get caught. You're awfully flexible on the whole legal thing for a detective. I'm freelance. Oh! Don't look at me like that. Come on. 
There might be something down these stairs. What do you think? Looks like a library of some kind. There must be something in here we can work with. Contracts with artists, detailed plans for how to create the fakes, I don't know. China shop meets bull. You do realise that even if we do find something incriminating, we can't hand it over to the police. Not after you've finished dream modelling. I'll work something out. Look, why are you so passionate about this? You said you're freelance. Who hired you? Nobody hired me. I'm here because I want to be. Oh, this time it's personal, huh? You an undercover art for nothing? What? No, no. I just... I've seen this sort of thing before. The last time I came to Paris, back in 79, rare old paintings showing up out of nowhere, being sold for fortunes. You think this is related? No. I mean, it can't be. That sort of thing doesn't happen more than once. Unless it does. What sort of thing are we talking about here? You'd never believe me. What's your angle, anyway? Just looking for a big story. Something that'll really get my career going. And I've always wanted to visit Paris. It has such a bouquet about it. Okay, but what's the real reason? What do you mean? If we do find anything, you can't print it. You're complicit in my remodelling. Hmm. You've got me there. Is it wrong for me to say I'm just having fun? It's the adventure of it all, you know? Yeah, I know. What are all these? This whole shelf is just about Michelangelo. Why does she have so many books? Look, no offence, but I get the feeling you're not much of a reader. I'll take a look at these while you go and stand guard. Maybe see what else you can find. But don't get lost. It's a big place. And try not to break anything, okay? Try and stop me. What have you got yourself into, Eleanor? Right. Starting to think we might be lost. Seriously, how many stairs does this place have? Must be something down here. Aha! A door. What are you hiding all the way down there? Locked. Sorry, Miss Agnew. If at first you don't succeed... Do not try again, monsieur. That door is terribly solid. The only thing you are likely to break here is your shoulder. Madame Allaire, shouldn't you be upstairs overseeing the auction? One of the buyers is having a rather heated discussion with his accountant. I thought I would take the opportunity to make sure my little chamber here was still secure. I am pleased to see that it is. What does it need to be so secure? What are you hiding? I do not think that is your business, monsieur. Now, if you will excuse me, I must return to my auction. Yes, you must be in a hurry. You're still holding your gavel. My little Emmer? Oh, that is not for the auction. No? What is it for, then? Hmm. I thought it would be obvious. No? Ah! Duggan. Duggan? That is a strange name. Don't blame me for it. Well, Duggan, now that we are properly acquainted, will you finally begin to answer my questions? How long was I out for? Long enough. The exhibition is over. The buyers have returned home. 
Only you and I remain. Now, did I not say I would be asking the questions? I don't know. Did you? Amuse yourself or you like it again. But you should remember the position you are in. Upside down on a roof. I'm not likely to forget. Precisely. But, more importantly, you are in a position of powerlessness. You are helpless and afraid. And you are alone. You sure about that, madame? You? You are still here too? Eleanor Agnew, journalist. Duggan here is my assistant. Well, I... You are now. <sighs> what would you have done without me? You and Monsieur Duggan are accomplices? Yes. And while you were dragging poor Duggan upstairs and tying him up, I was doing some investigating. And oh la va, have I found something. Now, let the man down and we'll go and have a look. Yeah? <laughs> You have no power over me. And you have no power over us. You are intruders in my home. And you haven't called for the authorities. Because she's hiding something. Precisely. So, either we stand here in a frankly embarrassing stalemate for however long you fancy, or we take a look at what you've been keeping in your basement. Your choice. No rush. I can hang like this all day. Very well. Hey, 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 what are you doing? I am releasing you, you fool. Unless you wish to remain like this. No, 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 no. Just make sure you don't drop me off the edge, hey? It is so very tempting. Thank you. Ah! Come on, you two. Almost there. We're coming. Still can't feel my legs, mind you. We're here. Ah, uh, it's that door. The one I nearly broke my shoulder trying to get through. Did you? Oh, well, not to embarrass you or anything, but uh, I managed to open it. You did? You did? I did. Found this little trinket amongst all your artsy books. I thought I recognised it. And then I remembered. You wear a very similar trinket on your necklace. It must be special to you. So special that you made a spare. I didn't think much of it at the time, but uh, as I wondered, I came across this strange door. And I realised that our little trinket here looks rather like... a key. Et voilà. Shall we? You are criminals. I will have you locked away for this. Fair point, but um, I really don't think you can take any moral high ground over us right now. Come and see this. All right. What I found! What is it? Some sort of machine? No. Wait. Is... Is it breathing? Is it... Alive? Madame Elea? If you want me to explain to you what it is, I cannot. I found it one evening, floating in my lake. Where it comes from, if it leaves like you and I, I do not know. I have merely done what I can to preserve it, and in doing so, I discovered its remarkable capabilities. Observe. Hey, 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 what are you doing? Put your fist down, monsieur. I'm not going to fight you. All I need to do is lay my hand upon it, like so. And I feel it in my mind. It is listening. And I think of something, something I desperately desire, and then...
Et voilà. Guns, get down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There is no need. It is nothing more than a shell, a vaccine. It cannot hurt you. This machine, this creature, whatever it may be, it knows what I desire. It knows what I wish to see, and it makes it a reality. But it can only create what you imagine. That's why it only created the shell of a gun. It doesn't know how to create a functioning gun because you don't know how to create a functioning gun. Precisely. So that's what you've been doing. All those artworks you've been selling, they were created by this thing. We created them together. My works are perfect. No, they're not your works. They were all created by this. How dare you? You do not know how many hours I have spent studying every little detail of the art I am replicating. Take the Michelangelo you saw earlier. Of course it is not his work. I had to spend weeks studying his craft, his technique, in order to create a new piece that perfectly resembled his style. I must know each and every detail in order in order for the, the facsimile to be believable. I even replicate the aging and weathering of each time period. They pass all the experts' tests, because I know what the experts look for. What else is it capable of? Can it create anything? It has not failed me yet. What about food? Can it create food? Did you ever even think about that? This thing could solve world hunger. It could solve housing. It could solve... There is nothing to suggest it can create genuine food. Well, there's nothing to suggest it can't. Have you even tried? No? Too busy using it to boost your already pretty substantial wealth? I am creating art. Works of art to be admired for generations. Is that such a crime? Well, you're claiming they're authentic and they're not, so yes, it is fraud. You ransacked my house, monsieur. Do not speak to me. Look, neither of us are entirely in the clear here, but you've just taken this whatever this is and forced it to make paintings for you. It's kind! It's kind, and you took advantage of it. It is not like that. Well, it looks that way to me. What does it want? Hmm? How do you know it wants anything? How do you know it is even alive? It could be nothing more than a complex machine. Have you ever asked it? How would I do that? Seems pretty simple to me. All I need to do is want something, right? I put my hand down on it. I think about what I want. And it makes it come true. That is my understanding, but what are you doing? See, what I really want is for this thing to be happy. I don't know what that entails. But knowing that it is happy would make me happy. And if it wants to make me happy, it'll have to make itself happy, won't it? Wait, anything could happen. Let's see, shall we? No! What the hell? What is this? What have you done? I haven't done anything. anything. It is in our heads. We are imagining this. Feels real to me. Has it moved us? To where? Maybe this is where it comes from. Maybe this is its home. Or maybe... Maybe it built this place. Maybe its purpose is to build things. Maybe it can build... Planets? Planets? Does this seem like Earth to you? But... That... That... Is impossible. You didn't understand this thing at all. How could I possibly understand any of this? This is wrong. I cannot. I want. I want to go back. Take me back. Take me home. There it goes again, giving you exactly what you want. Look, it's not here anymore. It didn't come back with us. It. It is gone! So it had the power to leave this whole time. But it didn't. It stayed here with you. 
because it wanted to make you happy. You say these things as if they are facts, but you could not possibly know. I realise that. But at least I'm considering them. You either didn't even bother to think, or you did. And you just didn't care. Whichever it is, you don't come out of this looking good. I would like you to leave my house now. Both of you. Yeah, I don't think you need to tell us twice. <sighs> this is the lake then. Where you found it? Yes. I thought it was simply garbage at first. I did not realize. I may never realize what it truly was. Is that for me? What? The wine. Oh. Not particularly. I see. Your friend will not join us? I don't think she's quite in the mood to speak to you yet. Never imagined I'd be the conversational type, but life's full of surprises. Quite. What will happen now? You will arrest me? For what? Can't prove anything. Besides, we're not exactly clean either. We'd be arresting ourselves too. This is true. I truly believed what I said, monsieur. I thought I was doing a good thing. You were conning people out of millions. <laughs> they had millions to lose. Arrogant, rich idiots. Takes one to know one. Perhaps. I did not even think. I am passionate about the art. I really am. I wonder if it is happy now. My little artiste. Wherever it is. I hope it is happy. Do you? Bon chance, madam. Drink? Well, it is your turn to buy. Does it count if I stole it from the house we just ransacked? <laughs> I'd probably prefer water right now, actually. That's okay. This stuff keeps for ages. So that thing was from another planet, right? Can't see any other way to explain it. You seem very at ease with the whole idea. So do you. Well, like I said... I've always wanted to be a bit of an adventurer. I always tried to find the most exciting stories to report on. I ended up digging in places I shouldn't have. I heard rumblings about all sorts of things. Aliens. Secret government departments dedicated to fighting aliens. It's hard to find anything concrete, obviously. But you hear words, phrases. Coal Hill. Torchwood. Stegmore. I see MG. Doctor. Doctor? Yeah. I don't know what that means. A code name, perhaps? Why? Nothing. Just... Let's say I've heard a thing or two about aliens myself. Is that what happened last time you were in Paris? Something about aliens? Something like that. And that's why you're back? Is that what you are, then? A detective who specialises in aliens? Why? Are you a journalist who specialises in aliens? <laughs> I think this could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> mad. Absolutely mad. You've been listening to Duggan, City of Life, 
Written and produced by Ross Wilson, inspired by the works of Douglas Adams. Oliver Martin starred as Duggan, with Laura Jane Hunt as Eleanor Agnew and Deborah Stencel as Madame Allaire. Sound design was by Ross Wilson, with music by John Foreman. Special thanks to Joshua Carpenter, Tony Filer, Andrew Creek, and David Agnew. <laughs>